Hi, I'm Aurora, and I'm with Foster Fight TV, and we're here with Trash Day Trig, just to, you know, get a little insight on the man behind the music. Okay, so let's start out with, where you from? From South Jamaica, Queens, New York, you know, on 16th and Merritt, East. Okay, very cool. Mm -hmm. So let's see, who are your musical influences? My musical influences? I would say, like, coming up back in the day, I, I, I always listened to KRS-One. Karis One and you know MC Sham and they was the whole through that whole beef thing, you know I was real young but you know my, I had older uncles and older brothers that kept me into it. Okay, you know. cool. So you kind of an old soul there. Yeah, I'm an old soul, definitely an old guy trapped in this young guy's body. Okay, very cool. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe your music? I describe my music as different. You know, every every track, every everything's different. I come with a different sound, an unorthodox flow. Every nothing's the same. You know. So what inspires you? Like what drives you? What makes you write? What makes me write? Life makes me write. You know, it, everything is crazy. So I just, I just like writing. And plus, you know, people love my music. What can I say? I just, I, I love to get the response. I love the response. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So how'd you come up with your stage name? My stage name. I just recently changed my stage name. My stage name is Tri State Trey. Now, you know, everybody who knows me knows me as Trey, short for Trigger. You know what I'm saying? But I pick Tri-State Trade because usually I take my show on the road. But when I go on the road, any state I am, whether I'm down south, way up north, midwest, or way out west, I'm representing New York and its five boroughs. So, and not forget Jersey and Connecticut. That's why they call me Tri-State Trade. Mm -hmm. I represent. <laughs> So do you feel like you're the same person on stage? I know the answer to this question. Yeah. They need to know. Yeah. <laughs> do, they, do you feel like you're the same person on stage as off stage? Totally not. I'm not. I mean, me, I'm right here, right now, this is this is me, Tri-State. Well, I would say, nah, this is Trey you're talking to. But, you know, when I'm on stage, it's like a, it's like a sugar rush. I'm addicted to that sugar, too, because when I'm on stage, I'm a totally different person. Person, you know what I'm saying? You know, no offense to the to the mentally disturbed, but I'm retard tar. We call it re re. You know what I'm saying? I gotta dance for that too, but yeah, I'm re re on stage, full of energy. It depends. Gotta be a lot of money, cause I'm like I've been doing this for a minute, and you know, I'm fire. I'm like Dylan. It's nothing's hotter than me. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. <laughs> I just big them in. I want some money too, but nah. Um, I would, I would, but they would, it would have to be right, because I, I'm. Gotten a couple of offers, and truthfully, I'm not thirst thirst McGurk like that. I've turned down a few deals, and those those labels know who they are. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking for something right, something that could suit me. I'm not, you know, okay. I would though. To answer your question. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, what does it take for Tri State Trade to put on a good show? What does it take? Um, all it takes is a packed club. It doesn't even take that truthfully, because I'll do a show in front of ten people. Like, I'm just always down to perform. I get a phone call, they say, yo, you have to be in Texas. By tomorrow, I'm out there, you know, and I, I find my way there. But, sure. yeah, um, that's all it takes. It's just the spot to perform and tell me I have to be there. And I don't care how many people's there. It's going to be a great show. You know? So what do you do mentally to perform? Or do you have, like, a certain mentally, kind of ritual? Yes, I have a ritual. Um, for, um, for those who don't know, I lost my daughter in 2005, wow. January 30th, you know. 2005, she was she was a couple months, you know, three and a half to be exact. I have a tattered on my chest, her face, and and what I do is before my before my show, before every show, on the way to the show, before I leave to go to the show, I pray. I tell my daughter, that's my angel, it's, you know, it's my angel baby, and and I pray to her, you know, tell her, you know, to look out for me and and make sure, you know, I I leave there in one piece, and and after that, I'm just playing the beat. The, the, my, my, my show CD, I'm playing that the whole way there, and sometimes, I, like a couple of times, I don't lose my voice going to the show. Mm -hmm. That's like, I'm so hyped because I have to have that same energy. If I rehearse it, like, I'm just like, uh, and I'm talking about in the car, I'm just going in, like, nearly about to crash. I just go in because when I, when I get there, it has to be the same energy. It has to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, when did you know that you wanted to be an artist? This is what you wanted to do with your life? I knew, I knew I wanted to be an artist when I came home from jail, and like I, I was always writing. I've been writing since I was 11, 12 years old, sixth, seventh grade. I had an English teacher that taught, taught poetry to us, and I went to jail, and I was 
I was writing a poem, and, and, and one of my friends that was there in jail with me, you know, he said, yo, you writing a uh, love letter? I said, nah, I'm not. I was scared to tell him it was a poem I was writing, because I thought poems was like, some people might take it as, oh, your little girl, son, you know, and I'm in jail writing a poem, so it's different. He says, nah, the poem is like, it's just poetry, it's just like, it's rap, it's music, it is, it's music, so in another form, though. And he started banging on the table in jail, started banging on the table and said, recite your poem to this beat I'm playing. And I did it, and people start crowding around. They wanted to hear what I had to say, so after that, I looked at it like, wow, they like it, you know? So it, it kept me going, it kept me going with a, with a couple other things, but, you know, that started me off. Okay. So... How do you feel about the current state of the music industry? Uh, it's a tough um, question, yeah. Phil Cisco and Ebert, we'd be like two thumbs down. I mean, you know, <laughs> no offense to anybody in the game right now. You know, a couple of people are doing their thing. I don't like to say no names and, and big them up because they don't say my name. But, you know, it's the business side. But the, it's, it's, it's not what it's cracked up to be right now. It could be better. You know, I think it left the hip-hop stage and it's going to more flash. And, and you know, it's like it's showing the youth. You know what you're doing, and yeah, that now they're just growing up saying, "Oh, I want that car, I want the chain, I, 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 if I can't get a nice girl like the video unless I have this much money." And they don't know that they're forgetting the groundwork of going to that to get where these people are at, and they're just showing them the good side. They're not showing them how what it took to get there, you know. And that's what makes me me. I'm, I keep it keep it a hundred and show them, you know, what it takes. You know, another crazy thing about that is that I, I'm targeting the world. Remember the um Marvin the Martian? Wow. You know, it's like, you know, like, yeah, I'm I'm like that. Like I'm targeting the world because I, I do I don't I don't discriminate. I do music for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like cause I feel that everybody can relate. You know, I, I do a song called Dear Mama. Like everybody loves their mother. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna say, I mean, my grandmother heard the song, she said, um, go out and get me that CD. I said, Grandma, that's me. <laughs> like, I'm, I can't find that nowhere. I mean, I can make you a copy, but, you know, I, I make songs for everybody. I don't care if it's in the club, the techno, Caucasian people, black people, everything, the street, the underground, everybody, mainstream and commercial. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna do, I do it all. Yeah. So how long does it take you to write in your song? Oh, about an hour. Like, I can come in on the spot, like, which I've done, like, most of my album. I come in and I say, no, I'm not going to take that beat home. I'm going to come in. I'm going to write right there. Like, I walk around the place and with my book in my hand while the beat plays for about an hour. And, yeah, I come up with a very nice song. Yeah. <laughs> See, you already know what it is. Your boy, Young Child State Trick. East, up here with Force to Fight TV. Got to lay some fire out for y'all, man, for the new year, man. Start it off right. First of all, y'all, happy new years. Rest in peace to all my fallen soldiers who ain't here. Hungrier now. Couldn't take the flapjacks for dinner. I had to backtrack like I lost a hubcap spinner. Yup, your boy hotter now. Put the dollars down. Crowd around. Hot as sound. Take the city. Ride around. About time I took it there. Did it for the hood. For the clubs. Even made tracks for my bugger bears. Run the underground. Right now they shook up there. Still here. Different year. Still hot. Look at that. Can't help it, I'm hot. I was born with it. Can't teach this, no, nah, I gotta come with it. Leave you speechless. Trick don't did it. Any teeth with the norms reach, I'm gon' get it. Had this problem, fam. Broke having to rob a man. Pack a fifth with a kick to the flip a dollar van. Spit like one of the greatest. You know, trying to stack tips like I own a strip out in Vegas. Had to extend a clip for these haters. They try to flip the script like that bitch did. One of the Lakers. Mary Bully to Mississippi. They all mention my name. Pennsylvania to Poughkeepsie. Them people saying the same. He hot. He rock. Boy, try to stay on top of his game. Bam! East? You already know what it is. Check me out. ForcedToFightTV.com. Shit. Try to stay East.